Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask only one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And, you know, it's an interesting debate because people are, they tell me I'm wrong all the time. <laughs> but, you know, I think, uh, you know, you, you guys, subscribers on this channel, you know, you know, every generation uh, likes to trash on the next generation. It's like a sporting event. And I don't buy into that. I do not buy into that. And then I expect some respect back. So that's how we work here. And today, runner up on the community poll, Fire Tools. This is re recommended by Shane, Shane, but S H hyphen A N E. So, Shane, thank you. Um, didn't do quite, you know, it, it did fair. So I thought, let's go ahead and hit this up. And what's my fire tool? I got some coconut water if it gets too hot. So anyway, I've done a little research on Angel Mark Lloyd and DJ that does all sorts of genres. So we'll just roll with this. Uh, I've also looked at the lyrics. They're um, kind of abstract, I think. So we won't talk a lot about those. We'll focus on the music here. Here we go.
Well, that was not what I expected, and I, I got a few things to say about it. Uh, you know, it starts off with that very kind of cathedral. It's a synth, but almost sounds like a uh, an organ in in a cathedral. I don't mean church music, but that kind of sound. And then in come some really pretty keys and that kind of percussion sometimes. Uh, just straight kind of danceable synth bass and other times uh, a little bit glitchy, mix up the beats a little bit. So I'm going to talk about the objective and the subjective because objectively, this is great. Um, what What is so surprising is how melodic it is. And it reminds me of a lot of 80s pop music that was on the radio. So it's like some kind of, I mean, if you take the beats out and just think about the music without the percussion, it reminds me of some kind of cross between Van Galis and the Thompson Twins. You know, it's this really interesting uh, blend. And the melodies are really strong. Uh, and it just really surprised me. Like, just I'm already humming along and starting to sound like a bit of an earworm. I can still hear the music in my head right now. And then in comes that voice, which gives it some contrast that very kind of screamo light kind of voice, but then she changes that up. And I say she, she's transgender. She goes by she, they, I just prefer to say she, it's just my preference. And uh, especially with the name Angel Mark Lloyd, which is a, a real name, I guess, and, and Fire Tools her brand. But uh, yeah, but subjectively, not quite as crazy as I was objectively. And the reason is it was just a, maybe just a touch too smooth, a little too safe for me. And Shane was trying to get me an entry point, uh, a song that he thought I could start with. And maybe we should have just dove dove into something a little more um, edgy. Uh, I probably would have liked that better. So, uh, but yeah, you know, the mechanics of it and the recording of it were perfect. Uh, really well done. Uh, so I think I respect it more than I like it, if that makes sense. So objectively, I'm going to give it an A, and subjectively, I'm going to give it a B. It's just not my, my favorite. Um, it just reminds me of too much 80s uh, pop that that I liked okay, but, you know, it was just also kind of in the background and but this might be great music for some other purposes though i could see working to this i'm retired of course but if i was doing some work i could see having this on not that it's me because not music to ignore but music that you can hear and pay attention to but not you know that coexists with some other activity so i can see uh different uses for this so yeah, Shane, I'm glad you, you introduced me to this. Um, she's very skilled, very talented, no doubt about it. So that's it. I couldn't, if I hadn't looked up the words, I, I would have had no idea what she was uh, singing about. And I think the vocals were more like another instrument, really, the way I heard it. So, yeah, cool stuff. I'm glad I listened to it. If you like what we're doing, a senior reacting to the new music of the 21st century, hit that like or subscribe button. Just do it, please. And uh, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. Thanks.